Hey, hi guys, this is Sushant. Uh, today, uh, we are going to talk about how much cardio is essentially needed for fat loss. And the answer is zero. Zero minutes of cardio is essentially needed for fat loss. You can lose weight and lose fat without doing any sort of cardio. Uh, so this video is specifically and especially for those who are uh, really cursing themselves in the gym, doing cardio for hours, uh, running on treadmill for hours, um, doing cycling for hours or uh, doing cross trainer for hours and really not enjoying their workout. They're really cursing themselves uh, for doing it, really trying to motivate themselves every single day to go to the gym and do that painful exercise again and again. Um, that sort of mindset they have. So this video is specifically for those. See if you like uh, doing cardio, if you enjoy cardio, go ahead and do it. If you enjoy it, it is really good if you enjoy the exercise that you do. But if you're not enjoying it and you're doing it merely to lose weight, to lose fat, then you need to do none of it to lose weight or lose fat. You do not need to do cardio to lose weight or lose fat. Okay, if we do not do cardio, then how do we lose weight? Okay. So we lose weight when we are in calorie deficit. I have talked about what calorie deficit is in my previous videos. You can go and check them out. We lose weight in calorie deficit and we lose fat in calorie deficit when we eat the right foods. See, in calorie deficit you will lose weight, but you can also lose muscle instead of fat. So, to save your muscle and lose just fat, you should be eating the right foods. So, you should be in a calorie, calorie deficit and eat the right foods for fat loss. Otherwise, you can be eating nothing and be in a calorie deficit. Eating nothing makes you go in the calorie deficit, but you will lose muscle if you do not eat anything for a significant period of time. So, be in a calorie deficit, eat the right foods and you will lose fat. Okay, so how to create a calorie deficit? Either you can stop exercising and reduce the diet, reduce the amount of calories you are taking or you do exercise along with your diet and create a calorie deficit. Well, um, creating a calorie deficit alone with the diet without any exercise is not recommended. The major reasons are that first of all your body is a machine it should keep working the second reason is when you exercise you burn calories and you create a room for those burnt calories and now you can ingest more food and get more nutrients from that food so basically you create a room to get more nutrition when you are exercising uh, that room is not created when you are um, not exercising and creating a calorie deficit just from the diet. So it is recommended that you exercise while losing weight. Uh, now what sort of exercise should I be doing? Okay, you can do any exercise. Something is better than nothing. Uh, something is better than nothing. You can be doing any exercise. You can be doing cardio if you like it. But um, if you do weight training, weight training is lifting weights. Um, the usual side that we get in the gym, people lifting weights, rods, dumbbells. So if you do weight training, uh, an advantage of doing weight training when trying to lose fat is that weight training can help you gain muscle along with the fat loss. You are losing fat and at the same time uh, it can help you gain muscle. You can gain muscle in other sort of activities as well but perhaps not to a significant extent. So you can gain muscle uh, while running also because your uh, muscles are moving but that mm, uh, muscle gain might not be significant but uh, in the case of weight training the muscle gain is significant so that is uh, one big reason that weight training while trying to lose weight is a very good option now coming back to uh, those people i again would say that cardio is not at all necessary to lose weight you can lose weight doing zero cardio. Uh, this misinformation is uh, circulated by many gym trainers. They'll tell you, oh ma'am, if you want to lose weight, uh, go to that treadmill, start walking, then start running, go do cycling, go do cross trainer, 
uh, and then if a skinny guy comes, they'll tell you, oh, start uh, weight training. Uh, cardio is not for you, otherwise you'll lose weight. And so creating this uh, uh, wrong image of uh, someone lifting weight will gain weight and someone running will lose weight is not right. And this has been created by a lot of uh, fitness uh, enthusiasts uh, such as gym trainers. So if you have that misconception in your mind, uh, just remove it. You do not need to do cardio to lose weight. You can lose weight easily uh, by doing the exercises that you like. If you do not like doing cardio, do weight training or do some other sort of exercise. The main thing is to create a calorie deficit and eating the right foods in the calorie deficit. And if you have, if you know anyone who is uh, like uh, facing problems due to this mindset of doing cardio to lose weight and cursing uh, himself or herself in the gym for hours and really motivating uh, each day uh, to push one more time, push one more time and then finally uh, giving up after a few months or a few weeks, then share this video with them. If you are uh, that person, watch this video again if you uh, think that it can remove the misconception in, uh, in your mind. If you like the video, like it. Uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comment box. Especially share it with your loved ones so that you help them and you take a big pain out of their lives because I see that pain in a lot of people's life uh, when I go to the gym and I see, especially ladies, they, they really have a hard time. I see them uh, really uh, feeling the, uh, the curse in doing hours of cardio. So better you share it with people and let the people know. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.